Good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can All hear right. you. All right, thank you. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you? Are we ready? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Are we ready to start? Yes. Hi, baby. Yeah. Great. Okay. Welcome. I think we're going to have a, a very nice group. All right. A very good number. So on my list, I think I have, let me check, around 17 students, 17 participants. So maybe we are waiting for a couple of more participants, about four or five more participants. So most likely they are going to be connecting soon, hopefully. So we're going to be uh, starting soon, right? Okay. Okay. So this is level six. Yes. Is that right? That's right. Great. Okay. So a few students are still connecting. We're giving one minute for everybody to be ready, for everybody to get the manual for everybody to get the notebook for everybody to get a pen or something oh another thing that is also very important is to be on the group did you join the whatsapp group yes not yet no yet oh my god on the email you have the credentials and you can use the link to join the whatsapp group okay okay yes because we usually share very useful material on the whatsapp group all right so we share more information, we share exercises. So that is very important, all right? All right, so we're almost ready. I see many people, they're very, very punctual. So I'd like you to join, yes, to the WhatsApp group. If you haven't done it, just do it. Because I see, let me see how many. Oh yes, I see many people joining the group with the link so so far let me see how many participants i have well about 12 12 participants of course okay great well let me share the screen with you then let's get started let's get to the point all right today we start and that's really awesome this is our first video conference this is our first meeting and this is english english for work program so this is our module number six right this is beginners number six or module from basic number six all right my name is blanca portillo it's nice to meet you welcome feel confident feel uh, in a good environment, in a positive mood, to ask, to participate, because that is the idea, all right? So we're going to be having this general information about the course, about the program, and of course, this is my personal information, uh, some of my personal information, yes, I got the bachelor degree in English, so... I graduated from Universidad Tecnológica in the major of English, right? So I got the career of English. And of course, the main purpose of this career is teaching. So I got also um, a scholarship to study a uh, uh, exchange program in the United States. That is a uh, Intercambio Cultural, which is a, a, a cultural exchange for teachers' practices also sponsored by the U.S. Embassy that was um, in South Carolina in the University of Winthrop. So that's some of my 
you know, education, <laughs> right? Experience, I have lots of years of experience teaching different programs at different levels. Uh, but my current job, yes, I'm a 12 years of experience as English teacher or a teacher of English at Programa Empresarial Superate. I teach different levels since basic to advanced levels. Yeah, after many different institutions, universities, and different uh, different programs as well. Okay, so this is some information, some basic information about myself. If you are interested, if you have any question or want to know anything else about my my profession, it will be okay if you want to ask. Okay. Teacher, yes. In which part of the North Carolina you live in this in this uh, moment? Oh, well, when I was moment. in the program, yeah, yeah, I went to a, a place called Rock Hill. It's close by the border with North Carolina, which is Charlotte, the main city. Yeah. Yeah. So I landed there. <laughs> okay. I think you live in, in, in Raleigh, in Durham. Yeah, I was kind of probably close by. <laughs> All right. It was a great experience, I have to say, yes, I, I got the opportunity to meet about 80 teachers, 20 different countries around the world. So it was, it was really cool. All right, so this is some information about myself, as I was saying, of course, this general information about the program. So these are some of the information that we also have to transmit. This is in Spanish, but uh, as you may know, it is necessary to be 80% of an average in your homework and your evaluation on the platform you have to complete all the assignments satisfactory so you have to get at least the 80% of the average right so it is not optional you have to complete the exercises on the platform so when you receive the email you receive all the credentials right you receive all the links to join the platform so it is now I mean as I said, matter of choice, you have to complete yes or yes. <laughs> All right, so um, the topics that we cover in the lessons on the virtual classes are the same. They are similar exercises that you have on the platform. So as a recommendation, we study in the class, we practice the exercises, we study the vocabulary, and then you complete the exercises on the platform, right? So that is a good idea so that you can have the information fresh, that you can complete the exercises and you have a better score. Of course, you, you, you just study this and then you put into practice on the platform. All right. Then this is an approx because I bet we, we will have to extend this a bit. I'm not quite sure because of the Independence Day next week, right? Next week is September 15th. So in theory, we were supposed to complete the second week by the 16th of September. But probably we won't have classes on the 15th because of Independence Day. So most likely we will have to extend this one more day. But don't you just get lazy and not complete it? No, complete it as soon as possible, as you wish, as you can. And then uh, by this time, you are supposed to be having the midterm exam. That is just about two weeks, about two units, right? So it's one unit per week. And we have a midterm. Midterm is, uh, is an exam that you have to complete half of the course, right? So you are level six. You already have experience on this, right? <laughs> so it's not the first time, all right? So then, yes, by the end of the month, you are supposed to complete the final exam. Also, yeah, we probably would, uh, yeah, we're gonna stand one more um, day, probably, because of the class that we are most likely missing because of the Independence Day. So one day, probably one weekend, that you will is extend the end of the module, right? And, of course you can download right you can download the manual from the platform okay exploraron la plataforma i'm going to be switching into spanish por si esta información no ha quedado clara 
I can give you a summary, ¿ok? Puedo dar un resumen de esta información, si algo no está claro. Igual, si, pueden pregun si tienen preguntas, igual pueden preguntar. No problem. So, el manual lo pueden descargar directamente de la plataforma donde dice manual del estudiante, creo. O student, bueno. Se puede utilizar, obviamente, ustedes lo quieren utilizar en, en formato PDF o lo pueden fácilmente imprimir y tenerlo en papel y tomar nota, highlight, subrayar, encerrar, man, encircle, cross down, underline, lo que ustedes quieran. O si pueden editar de una vez el PDF, pues no hay problema. Ya yes, aunque PDF no deja de ser mucho, pero es up to you. La idea es que sí lo tenga. Yes. Is this clear? Is there any question? ¿Hay alguna duda sobre esto? Imagino que si lo han estado trabajando los módulos previos o si se incorporan hasta este módulo. No. <laughs> You've been partners, right? ¿Ya han sido compañeros antes? No. This is the first time. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Okay, don't worry. Vamos a tomar el attendance. Uh, conforme vayamos diciendo sus names, usualmente se dicen present. Por eso hoy vamos a variar un poquito más. Si vamos a decir present para tomar el attendance, pero también van a decir eh, si es su primera vez que vea a estos partners o si ya había conocido a alguno de ellos o cómo se siente de estar acá. Trate de decirlo en inglés, of course. Yes. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to learn. I want to study a lot. I'm very happy to speak English after two weeks again. I don't know. Whatever you want to say. Regarding how you feel, right? Acerca de cómo se sienten. Del mundo, del módulo, del curso. All right. Déjenme buscar la attendance. I bet it's right here. Solo voy a buscar la fecha. All right. This is Monday, the 5th of September. The most beautiful month of the year, actually. Uh, Adriana Maria Turcios. Present. This is my second course. I know uh, a few people in this classroom. Wow, you know a few of your classmates already. That's awesome. Congratulations, miss. Welcome, Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present uh, I I been seeing uh, other uh, uh, partners, for example, Hector, Diana, uh, Germán. Oh. All right, so you already have friends here. <laughs> nice, so there's no worries, no hesitation. You feel very confident, okay? Cristina, Cristina Edith Ramos. Not here. Oh my God. Daniel Freddy Sarabia. Present. Hi. I very happy. Mm -hmm. It's my three. Uh, uh, the third level, your third course, your third class in three, here. Three, three level. All right, nice. Okay. Uh, I have. Yeah. Okay, nice. Thank you, Mister. All right. Yes, I see that. Yes, you have complete name. Remember to have a complete name. Exactly, that is the idea. Let's see. We go with Elsie Noemi Alemán. Present teacher. Hello. 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Um, I feel happy. Um, um, I think a partner, um, uh, the model um, the past, um, um, Daniel, Carlos, Cristina, um, um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice, but you already have a lot of people that you know. That's great. Okay, so you don't feel completely new in this class. Okay, that's really great. All right. Okay, here we go with. Let me see. We go with Ferman Alexander. Is that correct? Present teacher. Hi. Correct. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, I feel very happy uh, for starting a new course. Um, in previous course, uh, 13 partners, um, uh, Mayra, Carlos, Elsie, Daniel, Christina, uh, Adriana, Isabel, Hector, Jacqueline, Lucy, and Hazel. Oh my God, you still remember all the names. Okay, that's great. It's, it's my second course. Oh, um, nice. Yes. You have a very, very good Thank memory. You. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely, okay. Learning English requires a good memory. Okay, Hazel Sarai. Hello, teacher. Hi. I identify two, uh, a few people in this course, and my course is the sixth. All right, nice. This is your sixth course. Yeah, I have to add it one. <laughs> okay, nice. That's awesome. All right. Hector Francisco Morales. Present teacher. Hello. I'm very happy to see you again, guys. And I'm happy to nice new guys. It's, it's, it's very, um, I'm very happy. Thank you. All right, nice. Thank you so much. All right. Yes, and everybody reacts. <laughs> okay. That's a good reaction. Ileana Carolina Calderón. Hi, teacher. Hi. Introduce yourself or say how you feel. Hey, Christy, tell me. Um, good night, teacher. Um, Hi. Me decía mis compañeros que ya me había mencionado, pero no escuché, perdón. Really? <laughs> Okay, don't worry. Creo que me okay. Um, yeah. uh, okay, I am happy to return to class. Mm -hmm. It is a tiered model mm -hmm. and I hope to learn a, lo a lot. All right, nice. That's awesome. Okay. Nice. Let me see. That is Christina, right? Okay. Ileana, ¿algo más que nos quiere agregar? Ya la renombré. Yes. ¿Todo bien? Ok. Creo que there's internet issues con Ileana. Ok, so we're going to continue. Irma Beatriz Molina. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. I'm happy to return to class. Um, I uh, have 11 parents the course under. Oh, nice. From the previous course, you have 11 partners. That's great. So we are in family. Yes? Yes. yes. Nobody's going to be shy of participating. <laughs> That's Awesome. All right. Great. I like that. Irving Giovanni Espinosa. Hello. Good night. 
hello teacher, hello guys. It's my first time here. In, I don't have a partners in, I are a little nervous, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> yeah. All right, don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Give me just one okay. second. I just need to connect my computer. It's about to die. You know, laptops right now don't have enough battery. So they usually tend to die very soon. Just a second. All right. All right. Here we go again. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. Here we go with Isabel Hernández Hernández. Good night. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to see you, partner. And welcome to the new new partner. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to our new partners. That's great. That's very kind of you. All right. Let's go on. Lucy Natalie Juarez. Hello, teacher. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I know uh, a few of my classmates in this module. That's great. So you don't feel like a new student. That's great. <laughs> All right. Nice. Marta Lidia Godinez. Marta Lidia. Is she here? No, she's not here. No, no, that's sad. Oh, anyways, we don't have the opportunity to meet Marta Lidia tonight. All right, Mayra, I'm sorry. Mayra Yesenia, right? Hi, uh, my name is Mayra Yesenia de Gil. I know, my, I know most of the, except Marta, Samuel, Ileana, Irving. I feel happy to resume the course again. This is my second module. Uh, I was in module five. Nice. That's really <coughs> great. Awesome. That's nice. Very good. All right. Let's continue with Samuel Antonio Paredes. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. It's my first time here. Uh, I don't know anybody, but uh, I hope we can make a great group and we can learn a lot of English. Yes, that's a great attitude. Okay, awesome. All right. Wendy Guadalupe Flores. Wendy. No, she didn't attend today. She didn't join. Oh, that's a pity. All right. And Jacqueline Lisset Salguero. Do we have Jacqueline? Present. Hi. Present. Tell us. I feel good. Okay, I feel good uh, being with you and job uh, to learn to love. Nice, Jacqueline. Thank you. Thank you for joining tonight. Hay alguien que no hayamos mencionado? Anybody that I didn't mention? No? I mentioned everybody? Sure? All right. Great. All right. That was the attendance. Remember that we usually take the attendance three times. So we must attend the whole class as much as possible, the whole time, to be on time. So to stay there in the middle of the class, since the class is two hours, so in the middle by 9 p.m., I'm going to be taking the attendance once again and at the end, right? right after well right before actually um 10 probably like two minutes to 10 i'll be taking the attendance and then we'll stay with one person on a one-on-one -on -one session for 10 minutes right so the ones that already participated in this courses already know 
the ones that are the first time, yes, you may have any doubt, any question, you just raise your hand or interrupt and say, I have a question, I would like to know, may I ask a question, and it's fine. You just ask your question, all right? Is that clear? Yes. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> all right. Okay, so let's go on. Let's go on with the presentation, okay? Uh -huh. This is something I have already mentioned in class at the beginning. Some of the things that are a requirement for staying on the class, staying online. Yes, I was mentioning this, how important it is to complete the platform, how important it is to attend the classes, how important it is to refresh what we study in class by completing the exercises on the platform, of course, right? And by completing the exercises on the manual, if you have the manual on a PDF format, or if you want to print it, it's a lot better because you are able to take notes, to write definitions, to write examples so that you can, you know, advance, you can make progress in a faster way, all right? So, Let's keep going. The requirements, also I have this information in Spanish for you not to have any problems, any inconvenience. You have to write your complete name. In case we have listeners, uh, they have to write the word listener. So the camera must be on during the session. And if there is sound, you know, in the environment, the place where you are, so try to Look for a place without sound, with the minimum sound, right? Because I've seen, uh, maybe not here, but other places that people are receiving the class on a cell phone and they are in a party or they are at, at a restaurant, <laughs> right? So that is not a place for receiving a class. Probably it's a place for doing other activities, but not for a class. And the most participation at all times. Who makes the class more interactive? Definitely is the participants. So we need active participation from everybody, okay? So that is going to make you participate. That's gonna make you progress a lot better. And these are some other information that we need to keep in mind. The attendance must be 100%. So you have to attend classes and you have to say like, I said before, 120 minutes, that means two hours, right? So that you could have the complete attendance. Remember that it is very important for InSupport program to have this attendance, right? And the attendance would be taken in three occasions, as I mentioned before. So one is like, we give them this um, range of time from 10, I mean, five to 10 minutes at the beginning we take it in the middle of the class and we take it almost at the end of the class. Yes, so the participant usually say present, they have the, the camera on, and of course you just turn the microphone on to say present. Then we have the session one-on-one. -on -one. So that means um, you have 10 minutes individually in every class with a, a, a different participants every class at the end of the class, right? So this is information that InSafort requires. So you have the mute uh, button, the mute button from the platform, from Zoom platform. You keep it in silence in case you want to participate. You turn it on and that's definitely valid, right? The camera must be on, as I said before again. The chat must be very active, right? The breakout rooms, the breakout rooms when we make groups for interaction, for participation, for practice, for uh, completing exercises, it's not for sleeping, right? It's not that we go to a breakout room and you sleep and you go to sleep or you take a break, no. It's for more participation, for closer participation, right? Mm -hmm. And if you wanna ask for help, and of course we must respect each other so that we can keep a nice, respectful learning environment okay that is really really important all right and of course these are the weeks that we have for this um oh my god 
they keep uh, you know posting things on the on the program because many teachers are starting right now so that's why we have this type of uh, interruption so the first week we start today we end by the 9th of september the second week it would be the session two and the midterm by the 16th of september or so i'll probably go with the 17th and the 18th because of the independence day i say maybe we extend one work one more day right and then the third week would be from the 19th to the 23rd and then yes that's the section three and the section four and the final exam would be from the 26th to the 30th or then we got the first uh the second and the third probably of october which is the last probably day to send your results from the platform okay and the session one session two and the midterm session three session four and the final exam all right questions so so far so good is there any question no all this information is clear because it's in spanish actually i'm translating <laughs> okay but you're reading in spanish all right okay yes I, I know i tend to to speak english at all times but if there is something that you don't understand just let me know no es pecado hablar español Yes, pecado es quedarse con la duda. All right? So if it, there's no other way, si no hay otra forma, we just translate and we keep going. We translate something that is probably not letting us go. All right? That's very, very useful to do. All right. Once again. No questions. ¿Están seguro? Bye. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I'm not quite sure you have questions. All right. Bueno, I trust you. En este momento, I'm going to play a video that is, uh, uh, I mean, INSA4 requires that we play this video. Of course, it's in Spanish, but it's, eh, es un requisito que INSA4 nos pide que les pongamos el video sobre la labor que hace el programa de esa forma, all right? So in this moment, I'm going to share the screen so that you can watch the videos. The video, actually, just one video, no, no more videos. One second. All right, here we go. Sorry, can you hear or you think not? Nobody. All right, it's okay. That's no problem. Let me just share again. Give me a second. It's great that you told me because I thought you were listening. <laughs> one second. Let me just share the screen one more time. Mm -hmm. Here we go. El INSAFOR ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. 
nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaport ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. All right. Did you listen now? Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. All right. So it was a really great video so that you can know about the programs okay that's great let's go on vayan preparando su presentación okay no no un powerpoint sino su presentación personal introduce yourself okay <laughs> okay so let's continue so after this video after this interesting video yes we gotta get to the point okay of the class the class objective at the end of the session participants will be able to apply the use of can and can to describe their abilities and someone else someone else abilities or so my partners my other participants abilities right so to express okay what i can or what i cannot do right in terms of the working environment, of course, right? So this would be the class objective. And now <laughs> there are some expressions for you to introduce yourself. I know that probably you already know your classmates, you already know your partners, you have an idea about your classmates, you know who they are, where they work, what they do, where, where they come from. But these are some of the possible expressions that you can use when you introduce yourself. For example, I introduce myself and I say, my full name is Blanca Lidia Portillo Rodriguez. Please call me Miss Portillo. Please call me Blanca. Please call me, please call me is what I prefer, okay? From my full name, I say, okay, I like you to call me or please call me, right? So that would be a short form to say, I prefer this, yes? Okay, or my name is Blanca, my last name is Portillo. I am, if you don't wanna say the real age, you can invent, if you want to say, I am 20 years old, you can say that. Or you want to be honest, then you say, I, I am 42 years old. 
Yes. <laughs> I work at, and then you say the company. I work at Inglés Corporativo. I work at Insafor on the online courses at night. But I, I have another job during the day, of course. I work at Program Empresarial Superate. So my work position, okay, so you can say I am an accountant, I am a lawyer, I am a business person, I don't know, whatever you want to say, your job position, I'm a salesperson, person, I'm a technical support, whatever you do at your company, right? Of course, my job position is a teacher, I teach classes, I, I train students who speak the language. I need to speak English because it is important to uh communicate with customers from different countries it is necessary for me to send emails in english because i work for a multinational company i don't know why is it necessary for you to speak english okay these are some of the expressions estas son algunas no todas las que ustedes pueden utilizar si ustedes conocen otras fine welcome yes obviously yo les voy a compartir un screenshot de estas possible expressions but you can use other. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Vamos a crear breakout rooms. Y como si fuera la primera vez que se estén presentando, aunque ya se conozcan, háganlo como, like the first time. Y si hay algo que mejorar, hay algo que decir, tal vez de otra forma, que se escuche mejor, pues ayúdense entre ustedes, ¿ok? Entonces, dígale a su compañero, obviously, de la forma más nice, ¿verdad? I think this and this and this, or can you repeat that? Or I guess you can say it this other way. So, lo vamos a hacer para crear confidence, right? Como para, ¿cómo se dice? Desempolvar nuestro English. Es la práctica en grupo. Pero luego cuando regresemos al general meeting, todos se van a tener que presentar. Ya sí, naturally, fluently, right? Ahorita es just a practice. Are you ready? All right, so here we go. We're going to be in groups of four. Everybody practice in the groups. I'm going to be checking. ¿Quién empieza? Eh, yo digo que primero la damos, ¿verdad? <risa> Así que él sí se la, se la destina. Hello, my name is Elsie Noemi Alemán. Um, ah, bueno, y ya les dije, my name. We will, we will. We will talk slowly and, and, and try to, to understand everybody. Okay, thank you. Okay, who want to start? Yeah, the ladies, ladies or the gentlemen? <laughs> ladies first. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> qué malo, qué malo. Okay, Christina, okay. you can start. <laughs> Voy a hacer mi intent. <laughs> okay, do it. My, okay, uh, my name. I need pets. Um, I think. <laughs> Wow. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Second. Hi, my name is Adriana Turcios. I'm 30, 32 years old. Presentarte. Okay. Vamos a regresar. My name is Irving. I'm Irving Giovanni Espinosa Senti. I, I have 23 years old. I, my 
my account position is salesman and I need you I need you learning English because I need you earning money. I need you learn money. money and I have a new position in work for com for example customer service and only that. Okay. Wait, my name is Mayra. My uh, I am 45 years old. I work at Rodet El Salvador. Uh, my work position is cost engineer. I need to speak English because um, I went to Turkey. Hey, Next. Next. <laughs> Hello, partner. Hello. Hello. My name is Hazel Renderos. Bueno, <laughs> my last name is Renderos. I am 28 years old. I work at Alcaldía de Nejapa. My work position is, um, se me olvidó cómo se dice jefatura. Um, my, I need, manager. Manager, uh, okay. My work position is a manager, and I need to speak English because I learn to more. Only that. Uh, in the office, um, soy a pango. Okay. Soy a pango. Uh, the plant, uh, technician plantel. Okay. Eh, este sal eh, dedique a eh, electrical transmission energy. Okay. In a few in a few neighbor from Salazar Romero. Okay. Ahí estamos todos ya, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Yeah. We are complete. <laughs> continue. Continue the conversation. Ask questions. Where okay. are you from? What do you do on the weekend? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um, hey, Daniel. Opportunity. Yes. Ahora, Irma de Uh, my name is Irma Beatriz Molina Enriquez. My last name is Beatriz Molina. Uh, I, uh, I am here all, uh, ¿cómo se dice? 15. Um, I work, I work at in Curacao. My work position is manager. I need to speak English because uh, before um, new new position. Hey, Irving. Repeat again. Hello, I. My name is Irving. Jo my name is Irving Giovanni Spinoza Senti. I have twenty three years old, and my. My work position is salesman and I need to learn English because uh, because uh, I have or uh, I make a new position in the work in my in the job, for example, customer service. Okay. Hey, hello, my name is Mayra Giselle Hill. I am uh, 45 years old. I work at Rodet El Salvador. My work position is uh, a cost, cost engineer. I need to speak English because um, I went to talk about it for me only. Bueno. <laughs> Eran los pasos a seguir, ¿verdad? Según lo que había mostrado ella en la, en la presentación. 
Sí, pero dijo que si queríamos agregarlo de otra manera. I say with, uh, with all the events, I'm the speaker in the all the events uh, with, my, with my company. And I want to, to learn more English because it's necessary. And um, I'm agree with Carlos. If I want to immigrate to other place, I need to, to speak well and write better than I can speak. And I think this is the reason I want to, to learn a little bit, I want to learn a little bit more. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Okay. On the chat, you can write how did you feel on the practice? I feel nervous. I feel confident. I feel relaxed. I feel excited. How do you feel? Right on the chat. How do you feel during the practice? I'm scared. Great with my group. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I feel great. What else? What else? Everybody tell us about how you feel. Uh -huh. Right on the chat. I felt confident. Mm -hmm. I see some were, some people were the leaders of the group. That was really great. Uh -huh. I felt very happy. Mm -hmm. What else? Motivated, enthusiastic. How do you feel? All right, very happy. Very good, comfortable. Uh huh. What else? Supported. Uh huh. Excited. Shy. <laughs> I mean, you just tell us how you felt motivated to learn English. Yeah, there's one opportunity. It's all right, no problem. Mm -hmm. All right, the first opportunity to share, to participate, to practice, very entertaining, all right. Yes, I see some people were giving more information, were having a conversation, didn't want to come back. That's really awesome, okay. So for some of us, it's our first time that we see each other. So it is also important to have an idea. Very happy with my partners, all right? Good to work with my partner, okay? To talk with my partners. All right, so it's a great idea that we give information. So probably for the ones that didn't have the opportunity to listen to me at the beginning, I repeat my name. Yes, here it says English Corporativo, but you know, on the first slide I presented it was Blanca Portillo, that's my name, okay? I've been a teacher of English for more than 20 years. I started when I was very young, okay? <laughs> I've been teaching many institutions, so probably you have seen me somewhere else. So, yeah, I've been teaching over here, universities. And I'm teaching this program now because I consider that teaching online, it's really cool 
And since we have the opportunity to teach people from different parts of the country, different places, and don't have the possibility to go to a place, you know, because of the distance, because of the time, then I know that you work hard during the day and then you have this opportunity to participate, to improve, to learn, okay? So that's really great. Yeah, I feel glad to stay here and I'm very motivated. All right, nice, thank you. Thank you for sharing all your comments. It is important, remember, to write on the chat because we want to develop the ability and the skill to write in English. You have to practice the writing too, okay? So it is necessary. All right, so we're gonna get started with the list. And we have Adriana. Adriana, you're going to introduce yourself and then you tell me a name and that person is going to continue and then and so and so and so until everybody introduce him or herself. Adriana, please go ahead. Okay, my name is Adriana Turcios. I'm 32 years old. I'm system engineer and I work at manufacturing to IT manager uh, and I study English because it's important to, to my work positions to communicate with uh, providers or clients only. Yay, that's nice, excellent. If you don't want to post a reaction on Zoom, you can just clap, okay? okay. <laughs> All right, nice. What's the name of your company? Industrias Merlet. Really? Oh, we are connected. <laughs> <laughs> on the support of the program. Merci. Oh, yes, we are friends. That's yes. great. Who's the next person? Hector. Hector. Hi, my, my name is Hector. I don't know why in English the, the people pronounce Hector. <laughs> because of the Hector, H. Hector, <laughs> each H. Uh, uh -huh. Menos mal que no me llamo eh, Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo. <laughs> we have friends and they are called Hugo uh -huh. and then people call them Hugo. <laughs> Hugo. Exactly. Uh, my name is Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Uh, I am 45 years old and work in, at CIS. CIS is, is an organization work with uh, environmental protection. Okay. And um, I'm very happy to, to know uh, many people with the level English very, very, very well. Like, like my partner, I'm very happy. And uh, the English is good for me. I, it, it's a good for, for real and, and learn differently. All right, different, uh, so nice to meet you. And where are you from? Um, San Salvador. San Salvador, and the place where you work? It, yeah, it's, yes, it's, but where, where is it located? Ah, Santa Tecla. And Santa Tecla. All right. Santa Tecla and uh, Utila, Colonia, ¿cómo se dice? And neighborhood. Colonia Utila. Mm -hmm. And neighborhood Utila. All oh, right. It's very close. But it's Because you say, yes, clear. environmental heritage or these preserved areas. Like you go to parks, yeah. like national parks? No. Uh, in a. In a Different park. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about to have a, a 183 areas. Protected areas. But I work, but 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 guys work in uh, maybe uh, half. Ah, half maybe. of them. Yes, because mm -hmm. last last month we went to Tilo Denigue. It's very 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 pretty. Yes, yeah. for the but, first time the I is... went. Imagine in my whole life for the first time. <laughs> it's very, very good yes. for to walk and, yes. and, and the, the, breath. The, Respirar. Breathe. Uh, breathe. The students uh, enjoy. They love it. 
Yes. Very, very, very. Mm -hmm. Because we, we have about, a, well, we took a group of about 50 teenagers. Mm -hmm. They were really, really excited. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Hector. That's Thank great. You, you. That's Thank great. You. And you have to choose the next person. Um, Samuel Paredes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, again, uh, my name is Samuel Antonio Paredes. Um, I'm a marketing manager in Cersa Prosa. I see all the, uh, the companies in the group, mm -hmm. Aeromall, Aeroflash, Aquipago, and Cersa Prosa with the, with the mother of the old group. I'm 43 years old, I have two daughters. Uh, what more do you want to know about me? Tell me, tell me. About your job. Yeah. About my job. Okay, I'm, I have a relation with all the, the media, uh, TV, radio, newspaper, magazines, uh, social media. I'm the voice from the, the company uh, with the Teleton, with the Marine, with all the... the, the so you manage uh, all the communication department. Of course, and relation uh, and public relation with the with the outside of the company all and right. inside in the company. And it's very funny because I have to to, <laughs> to travel with around, any yeah, kind of with, people. <laughs> with everybody with everybody with the, the guards with the administrative person with the the manager with everybody and and try to give them all the feeling to to enjoy their work and, and, and sell the company outside the, the nice. to our clients. That's really awesome. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> so you you're again. you're definitely good for that job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. That, that's, that's right. All right. So you have to choose somebody else. Of course, I want to know Irma. All right. Good evening. Uh, my name is Irma Beatriz Molina Enrique. Uh, my last name is Beatriz Molina. I am uh, I am year old, 50 years. I work at Curacao. In my work position is manager. I need to speak English because uh, for better job opportunities is necessary. In, I live in the San Salvador. In San Salvador, yes. So far, we only have people from San Salvador, yes? Yeah. <laughs> Not people from other regions of the country yet. All right. Thank you, Ms. Kirna. So you are at the main offices. You work in a store or in the offices? In the store. Which one? Because I, I believe you have many stores in different shopping malls. In what store in, are you? If we want to find in, Irma, where do we go? In, in the store is, is, is the is it is Soyapango. In Soyapango. In yes. the in the shopping mall, Tazamundo? Or in, in the city? No. In the city. Really? You have a store in the downtown of Soyapango? I didn't yes. know that. Interesting. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Say a name. Choose a name. Um, Carlos. Carlos. Yes. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, my name is Carlos Ernesto Hernandez Cepeda. Uh, I am 48 years old. Uh, uh, I work in Etesal. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, I work in this electrical electric sector. I, uh, I have a daughter, I want daughter. And I like brown uh, to see movie. I love it. <laughs> uh, 
the, the office in my in my work is stay in Soyapango. Nice. Where is it located exactly? In neighbor neighborhood uh, Los Alpes. That is in the downtown of Soyapango. Near? Near. It's near. It's near. Mm, nice. All right, near El Boulevard. And the street, Agua Caliente. Oh, really? Yes, I yes. know the place. I know. It's another access uh, to say well, uh, my, in my house is... <laughs> near to your house. Far away. Oh, really? You don't live near there? Um, I live in La Libertad. Oh, wow. Zaragoza. <laughs> You travel the whole city. How how long Every does it take day. you? One hour, two hours? What? How long does it take you to get to ah, one hour, um, two hours? Yes, it depends uh, on the less. traffic. Uh -huh, uh, to Two hours. Two hours to go and two hours to come back. I uh, come back and in, in the morning, uh, one and uh, a half. Okay, uh, one and a half. In the afternoon, back, two. And the return, two or three hours. Because of the traffic. I know. Traffic. Uh, traffic Soyapango. <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Uh, traffic is around the mundo. Everywhere. Traffic Everywhere Santa you go. Tecla. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe you can better get a hotel near your work. <laughs> 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 and the next day you get early to your job. <laughs> wow. I, I would like uh, wow, it's, to it's be incredible. Uh, to live close. In Santa Tecla. Oh, yes. True. Yes, because your house is in, in Zaragoza. Exactly. All right. Say another name, please. Uh, mm, Herman. Herman. Oh, Herman, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got confused because it's the first time I listened to Herman. <laughs> and your Thank last you, name too, Mesmet. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my, name, my, my name is uh, Herman Smith. Um, I am 37 years old. I work at uh, Grupo CIC. My work position is a uh, technical service uh, for food packaging. Uh, I need to speak English um, because um, my company uh, uh, has communi communication uh, every word. It's hard for me to talk to them. Uh, I I really need to speak English. <laughs> so your company is original from El Salvador or from another country? No, no. Uh, it's uh, the Dubai. From Dubai? Yeah. Imagine what a small world. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Have you ever been to Dubai? No, never. <laughs> Uh, uh, we ¿cómo need se dice? Aún, aún no. Not yet. How do you say aún no? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, we need these benefits in, the, in your company, okay? Yeah. You uh, say, okay, I need a training, but I need the training in Dubai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, lo que pasa es que tienen diferentes plantas. I know. Uh, I am traveling in Mexico, um, in Colombia. Um, Latin America? Yeah, yeah. Latin America. Uh, possible um, I traveling in uh, Italy and Spain. Italy and uh, Spain. Spain. Uh, Spain. Uh, nice. In December. And in your, uh, I mean, profession is industrial engineering? Uh, my my title, my title is, uh, or 
¿Cómo se My Degree. My Degree is a chemical pharmaceutical. Oh my goodness, really? Mm -hmm. And your yeah. packaging is for food? Yeah. Um, How incredible. BOPP, PET, and, and uh, LED, LEDP. My God, mm -hmm. how incredible. Yeah. That's awesome. That is wow. a very useful information because sometimes the young people, they say, ¿Para qué voy a estudiar esa carrera? I don't know. But they don't <laughs> investigate, you see? And that is a very useful career. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, 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 it's being amplia. Uh, very, I am, very, I am partnered and uh, company pharmaceutical mm -hmm. and uh, uh, governmental, uh, for, for, oh for example, uh, Seguro Social, uh, Hospital, and uh, different areas, definitely. And, C, mm -hmm. and la PNC, etc. Oh my God. It's, it's very, very, very. <laughs> yeah, awful. you can get a job everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Thank All you. All right, so you have to choose another person. Hoy me desquito. Ah, no sé. Lucy Natalie. Uh -huh, Lucy. Lucy Natalie. Where did you go? No reaction. No reaction. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, uh, Daniel Freddy. Daniel Freddy. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> uh, good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry, teacher. I, I had bad connection. All right, so we listen to Daniel and then we listen to Lucy, all right? Okay. Uh, my name is Daniel Sarabia. I am uh, 44 years old. I work at uh, uh, Bypass San Miguel. In the empresa, what to say, Nippon Koi is the Japan. My work position is safety engineer. Um, I I live, I live in San Salvador. I but uh, work in San Miguel. <laughs> uh, I need <laughs> to speak English because it's very important for me. Work is very necessary for passenger. <laughs> uh, a communication with my partner, with uh, uh, come the other country. Uh, it is is very 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 necessary for me. That's <laughs> right. So you need to stay in San Miguel. Yes. Oh my God! And you come to San Salvador only on vacation. Uh, yes, only three dates in the my weekend. house. Oh um, my God. 11, uh, uh, 11 uh, work here in San Miguel and three died in, in, in my house. All right. He returned. Le, <laughs> to work. Eh, le, lo mismo. <laughs> Repeat the cycle. But that's really awesome. Claps for <laughs> Daniel. He's constructing the bypass in San Miguel. How important that is. Imagine. You're definitely making history for El Salvador. 
Yes. Nice. Yes. Imagine when we thought about having a bypass in San Miguel. Because in the past, nobody thought, nobody imagined that was going to be a reality. Right? That's nice. And that's great to have safety in the workplace. So safety yes. engineers are very important position. It's a very, yes. very necessary job position. And you need to communicate, yes, with your partners that come from any other country because the language that we have as a standard is English. Of course, you're not going to learn Japanese, Turkish, French, Italian, German. No, you only learn English. And they always speak English, right? Right. That's awesome. All right. Say a name. Oh, no, we say Lucy Natalie, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hi. I am Lucy. I'm 33 years old. I'm an industrial engineer. I work in um, uh, some of similar position to Daniel. I'm a um, safety supervisor at construction projects. And that's uh, it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm from Sonsonat as well. <laughs> oh my God. So you are from Sonsonat and you work in the same place as Daniel? No, no, sorry. I, <laughs> I'm from Sonsonat and Sonsonate is my position is kind of similar with Daniel. But your job is in Sonsonate. Safety too. area. Ah. Oh. Nice. Thank you. All right. So you say a name, please. Elsie? Yes. Elsie. Good night. My name is Elsie Noemi Aleman Gomez. Um, I am 35 years old. Um, I work at Inforce SLCD. My work position administrative assistant. I need to speak in the cause I like English. Nice. That's awesome. She loves English. Nice, Elsie. Say a name, please. Um, um, Isabel. All right, Isabel Hernandez Hernandez. Hi, my name is Isabel Hernandez. I work at the distribution centers in. Crio Inversiones. I am 38 years old. My work position is system manager. And I need to speak English because uh, I want to learn a second language and because uh, I like I like English. That's nice. All right. Awesome. Say a name, please. Who's missing? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Put your hands up. Si usted no ha participado, levante la mano. Virtually or physical? <laughs> Who hasn't participated? Christina. All right, Christina. Okay. My name is Christina Edith Ramos Rios. I am a psychologist. I am I work at Banco Atlantida. Um, I am in the area of cash management. We see a little um, play role uh, online banking um atm uh, i need to learn english to expand relationship with my clients and supply 
That's all. That's nice. All right. Thank you. I see Irving wants to participate. <laughs> Um, Irvin, yes. Eh, Adriana María, creo que no ha participado, ¿verdad? All right. Adriana María. Sí, fue la primera. <laughs> no, Irving. Yeah. Irving is raising his hand. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hello. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Irving Giovanni Espinosa Senti. I have 22 years old. I live in Salvador. And I, I work in, I work, I am salesman and I sell different type of the products, uh, electronics, for example, uh, cellular, Phones, mm -hmm. tablet, laptop, and I I need to learn English because uh, my goal is is, is have a, a better job. Uh, you know, All I'm right, out. nice. <laughs> Thank you. Ajá, ¿quién no ha participado? Who's missing? Everybody? Ah, there you go, Jacqueline. Go. Okay. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Nicel, Atomic City Store. I live in Ciudad uh, with my mom. And my occupation is a content assistant. The company is um, Avan Logistics um, System. And um, in my first time, the um, uh, exercise um, um, running in the morning, uh, listen to music. Um, my favorite band, uh, System of Down. And, um, Social, uh, rate, uh, social media. I don't know. All right, nice. More personal information. <laughs> she loves running. <laughs> okay, that's nice. All right, then we have still Mayra, right? Mayra hasn't participated either. Okay, uh, hi, my name is Mayra Jesene Hill. I am uh, 45 years old. Uh, I work um Rodeque Salvador Manufacturing. Uh, I am engineer. My work position is um, cost, um, cost engineer. engineer. I need to speak English because um, I went to I went to talk about it. I like to practice English so I don't forget. Nice. <clears throat> awesome. Who else hasn't participated? Ileana participated? <laughs> okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Ileana Carolina. My last name is Calderon. I am 29 years old. I live in Santa Ana, Ciudad Real. I work in Spark Plus. My work position is receptionist. I need to speak English because I have a really conversation and work opportunities. Nice, that's awesome. Thank you, Ileana. Now we have some people that are in San Miguel and some people that are in Santa Ana, you see? How important this is. <laughs> okay, all right. Who has participated, who else? Oh, we are done. Everybody? Yes? Okay, we have to use democracy here, but everybody has to be, yes, spending as well. All right, just to confirm the attendance, because now I see. Just say present, please. Adriana? Present. Carlos? Present. Cristina? 
Present. Daniel? Present. Elsie? Present. Herman? Present. Hazel? Present. Hector? Present teacher. Ileana? Present. Present teacher. Herman? Present teacher. Erwin? Present. Isabel? Present. Lucy? Lucy, no, 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 fue. All right. Present. <laughs> Mayra. Present. <laughs> Samuel. Present. Wendy, no está, ¿verdad? And Jacqueline. Present. Right. Sorry, sorry, teacher, I'm here, Lucy. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lucy. Yes. Thank you. No problem. You've been sick, Lucy. Have you been yes. sick? Yes, I'm a little sick. <laughs> Have you been at the hospital? No. No, um, oh I'm God. at home, but I'm a little with a runny nose. I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! All right. So we have run so many minutes. All right. This is what your um your manual looks like, and this is for module six, of course, and this is the first lesson. So. What about, let me check. Let me just get something else, hold on. Just need to open the, yes, this one. Because this screen that I show you is just the pictures that I took from the manual. So the lesson, the lesson number one from the unit, number one, it is called job listings, right? And this is the manual. And of course, you will be able to respond to questions regarding qualifications and potential contributions. So what are some of your abilities? Are you a fast learner? These are two questions that you have to answer. What are the abilities? Of course, many, I mean, maybe we have different abilities in life in general, right? But we are talking about abilities at work. Okay, because if we talk about abilities and talents, probably we have many, right? We can draw, we can paint, we can dance, we can sing, whatever. But those are, you know, other type of abilities. We're talking about the abilities at work, okay? Like program, I don't know, different things, speak another language, use spreadsheets, uh, make budgets, I don't know, different depending on the area, right? So those are your abilities. And are you a fast learner? What does that mean, being a fast learner? Of course, when people ask you if you can, for example, uh, what? Design plans. Imagine that you're applying for this type of job. You say, can you design plans? And you say, mm, I can't, but I'm a fast learner. I can learn fast, okay? So that is in a way of saying, if you give me the opportunity, I can learn, I can get the ability, I can acquire the ability, right? So these are the two questions that introduce this lesson. And of course, there is a job interview. Ben is in a job interview, of course. We all have a job, we all have been to a job interview, yes? Everybody? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it says listen to the teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. So I'm going to stop sharing. Escriban en el chat, right on the chat. I have the manual or I don't have the manual para empezar. Vamos a ver que el grado de honestidad. I have the manual or I don't have the manual. Cualquiera que sea su caso, ustedes solo escriban. Let's see, quickly. I don't have the manual. <laughs> I don't have a... Oh my God. Everybody's on hot water. Si esto fuera presencial, ahorita ya estarían bailando chancha avalanche. All right. <laughs> I don't have the menu. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I have the menu. Somebody. At least. It's the first day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no excuse in that. All right. It's if you were in a school and you don't have the uniform, you don't enter. Teacher, 
teacher. Ay, eh, fíjense, eh, el manual que yo bajé de la plataforma que dieron ahora solo tiene siete páginas. Ah, lo que pasa es que está en diferentes unidades. Ah. Sí, entonces, el, el primero solo está como la introducción, la, como la información ajá. general. Entonces, se tiene que ir bajando cada uno de los PDF por, por sección. Ah, ok. Exacto. De hecho, tiene que bajar como cinco PDF. Yo bajé cuatro. I mean, the information that I need. Usted solo baja las okay. de las unidades. Okay. Yes. At least el de la primera semana lo deberían de tener. Mm, vaya, I ¿Y appreciate. Es, y, ese, y ese cuento. Pregunta. Para que no me ponga a bailar. Ay. Ese, ese que solo dice los objetivos y los nombres de los contenidos. <risa> Vaya, aprecio su honesty, pero nada. Ya vamos a ver. Vamos a considerar el caso. Voy a dejarte menos, voy a dejarte menos. Vaya. Ok. Ahora escríbanme. ¿Cuántas job interviews han estado? Un aproximado. Yo sé que algunos quizás ya no se recuerdan. Aquellos que andan from job to job. Que han cambiado de trabajo muchas veces. Pero un aprox. I have a lot. <laughs> I have had uh, about six job interviews. Oh, I have had many job interviews. I have had like three, six, seven, uh huh. Three interviews, uh huh. Five interviews. Probably I have had many job interviews actually. Uh -huh. Me? <laughs> like nine, I have nine, uh huh. O sea, todos saben lo que se trata de una job interview, right? Three times. Uh -huh. Okay. What do you remember from the job interview? What are the common questions in a job interview? Uh -huh. También escriban. Whatever you remember, that is a common question in a job interview. Don't tell me what's your name, because eso no lo va a preguntar, eso ya lo vieron en su resume. <laughs> uh -huh. Five job interviews. Uh -huh. A possible, uh -huh. why do, exactly, why do we need you? How, may, how much money do you want to make, all right? What is your salary expectations? Uh -huh. What else? Tell me three abilities that you have. That's important. Mm -hmm. What are your abilities? What else? What else? What else? Mm -hmm. Do you have a car? Yes, in case that for your job is necessary to have a vehicle. That is possible. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh huh. Okay, why would you be the right candidate? Exactly. Uh -huh. If I, what I could offer to the company if they hire me, all right? Exactly. Your contribution to the company. It, okay, tell me about your last job. Okay. Uh huh. Why do you wish, why do you want to work in this company? Where do you work before? Uh huh. Why are you looking for a job? Mm -hmm. That's great. So you already know. And of course, they tell, they, they, yeah, they ask you about your job experience, your abilities, your education. And if you want to grow, if you want to learn, if you want to improve, right? They usually ask you, uh -huh, why should I choose you? All right, why do I need you in this company exactly? They, they usually ask you that. All right. And when you go to a job interview, because you have a lot of experience now, participating in three, four, five, six, nine, ten 10 job interviews, it's a lot of experience. Now you don't feel nervous anymore. Now you feel very confident. You know your talents, your abilities, your skills. Oh my God, you have four jobs, says Beatriz. Irma Beatriz, right? That's a lot. So now you feel more confident to talk, to describe what you can do, right? And the abilities that you have. That's really awesome. So we have this job interview. 
between Andre and Ben. It says, hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big project, and I'm, a very, and I'm very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using the spreadsheets? Can you use them? Mm, I can speak little Chinese, but I can use the spreadsheets, but I'm a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Oh my God, that was super fast. All right. <laughs> All right, so once again, I'm going to read the conversation. If you consider that there are some new expressions, new words, difficult pronunciation, you may take notes and then let me know so that we can repeat, all right? So Andre is interviewing Ben, right? Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big project, and I'm very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using a spreadsheets? <laughs> can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can use the spreadsheets, but I'm a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? All right, is there any difficult expression that you want to repeat, that you want an explanation, that you need to uh, make sure that you are understanding it correctly? No? Easy. Easy peasy. All right. <laughs> so don't worry. We're going to practice to definitely vocalize it, right? So spreadsheets, you know, everybody needs to use Microsoft Excel. <laughs> so that is the most famous spreadsheet, but we also have Google spreadsheets, right? So it's, you know, basically this uh, documents that we use for keeping information, data, spe specifically. All right, so practice the conversation. I'm gonna share the screenshot so that you can have the, I'm gonna make new groups actually. Let's see, and more groups. There we go. If you are three people in the room, so you practice with different people at uh, uh, different times and you take turns, right? Here we go. Yes, ahorita se lo comparto. Yo se lo comparto la screen share. Don't worry. Hello, Ben. I'm Com. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can. I can't use a spreadsheet, but I am fast learner. 
I get it. When can you start? Ok, ¿Qué? mira, ¿qué es spreadsheets? Ya me llamó la atención esa palabra. Y también. Spreadsheets. <risa> spreadsheets. 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 But I am a fast learning. I'm get it. When you can start. Ok. Today. <risa> ok. <risa> ¿Con quién voy? Okay. Conmigo. ¿Quién quiere ser? ¿Andrés o Ben? Mm, Andrés. Okay. ok. Hello, Ben. And welcome. My name is André Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English also. I can manage small and big projects, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use a spreadsheet, but I'm, can, but I'm a fast learner. I get it. Where can you start? Now. <laughs> Ok, eh, ahora si quieren voy con, 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 con Cristina. Con Cristina y luego ustedes dos. Ok, Parece. entonces ahora yo soy André. Ok, yo soy Ben. Ok. Hello, Ben. Can you speak? I can speak English also. I can manage small and big projects. And I'm very good at sales. That sounds that sound great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about you? I know this word, I don't know. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheets, can you? No, no can sé. you use them? Can you use them? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I but I can use spreadsheets, but I am fast learning. I agree. I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't. Use a spreadsheet, um, but I am a fast learner. I get it. When you, when can you start? Okay. You start it. Okay. Okay. Hello, Ben. And welcome, my name is Andrea Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras with a qualification. Okay. Hello. Um, Hello. Hello. Hola. Do you can can you practice? Do you want to practice, Mayra? Yeah. Okay. I'm Andre. Qualification. Do you how do you? Quali. Dijimos que era como calificación ¿no? allá. Dice, bienvenido, mi nombre es Andrés, encantado de conocerlo, señor Rivera. Estamos ofreciendo un puesto de gerente para una sucursal en Honduras. 
Ah, bueno, ahí está la teacher. Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Hi. Eh, tenemos una duda. Tell me. Eh, ¿Se dice Alson o se dice Olson? Also. Olson. Ah, pues sí. Yes. Eh, nos estábamos acordando que nos corregían eso. <ríe> no more Olson. questions about the vocabulary. Spreadsheet. Spreadsheets. 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 Qualification. I agree. When you start. Um, la palabra que cuesta mencionar un poco es. es Spread sheets. Spread sheets. Spread sheets. Spread Spread sheets. Spread sheets. Generalmente es para las hojas de cálculo. Pueden ser de las de Excel o las de Google. Spreadsheets. 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 Uh -huh. Spreadsheets. Exactly. Sigamos. Uh, hello, Ben. A fast dinner. A fast A fast dinner. A fast Okay. Uh, I, I get start. it. Can when can you start? I got it. I get it. When can you start? Okay. Hello, Ben. Ah, oh, usted le toca empezar. No, usted. Sí, no, a mí, verdad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ben. And welcome. Welcome. My name is Andrea Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using? As big sheets, can you use it then? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use a spreadsheet, but I am a fast learner. I got it. When can you start? L learn, learner. 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 Yes. Learner. 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 Spread, spread mayonnaise. Spread sheets. Exactly. Spread sheets. Other word? Chinese. 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 Yes. And qualifications, I think. Qualifications. Yes. Qualifications. Qualification. Mm -hmm. Qualification. Yes. 
qualification. Okay. Thank All right. You. You're welcome. Iniciarlo, estar eso. Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo puedo iniciar? Le pregunto. Ajá. Uh -huh. so, I get it. Hi. <laughs> What's the conversation easy? Yes. No, so easy. Okay. All right. Any difficult word? Any difficult expression? No? Yeah, um, the expression is spreadsheet. Spread, spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. Exactly. Spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. What about using a spreadsheet? Can you use them? Um, yes. The spreadsheets can use them. Mm -hmm. I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use spreadsheets. But I am a fast learner. Yes, but Sheet. I can use the spreadsheets. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's a long yeah. E. Sheets. Yeah. Sheets. Yes. Spreadsheets. Yeah. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. All right, nice. It's like a mark of churro. Spreadsheets. <laughs> Como pretzels. <laughs> spread. Pretzels. Spread. Pringles. Uh -huh. Pringles. Spread. Spread. Spreadsheets. Spread. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. What about these expressions uh -huh. I can speak English right I can manage a small groups it seems I can manage a small groups and big projects a small and big project so I can I can affirmative right can you question can you speak chinese and what about spreadsheets can you use them another question i can speak a little chinese affirmative i can speak a little chinese but i can't i can use spreadsheets but i'm a fast learner I learn fast. <laughs> All right. So I get it. When can you start? When can you start? Another question with can, right? So affirmative, I can. I can speak English. I can use uh, computer softwares. I can create uh, budgets. I can design. I can work. Okay, affirmative. Negative. I can't. I can use spreadsheets. I can speak Italian. Yes, I can't, but I'm a fast learner. I learn fast. All right. And the question, can you, can you speak Chinese? Can you use spreadsheets? Right. So this is how the use of can and can't work. Okay. Let me undo all this because I need to just scroll down. Let me just get it right here. So here you have some questions. Get in pair and discuss the following question. What are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available? And what are the qualifications for the work you do? Okay, the position available is according to the conversation. The position is a manager in Honduras, right? What are the qualifications that are required for this position? ¿Cuáles son los requirements? ¿Cuáles son las 
qualifications que deben de tener los candidates para que le den esta job position. Uh -huh. They can <coughs> speak English, uh -huh. Chinese, can use um, a spreadsheet. And use a spreadsheet, right. That's right. So they must be able to, right? They need somebody who can speak English, somebody who can speak Chinese, and somebody who can use words, I mean, the spreadsheets, right? So those are the qualifications, definitely. And he says he can work in a small and big projects. He says, and he is good at sales. They say, oh, that sounds great. But then he needs somebody who can speak English, Chinese, and use the spreadsheets, right? And then, of course, he says, when can you start? What about you? What are the qualifications that you need in your work? Yes? You say, I can use spreadsheets. I can manage a small and big projects. I can design. I can write reports. I can communicate with people outside and inside the company. I can design or certify new products. I don't know, whatever you can do. So you have to write it here so and the class obviously the lesson suggests this videos for qualifications in a resume try to watch them if you can and here is the explanation of how to use can and can't right we use can when you want to name your abilities we use can't when you don't know how to do something so this is the explanation you scan when you want to name the abilities. Cuando usted quiere expresar lo que puede hacer, you just can. En negative, cuando usted no sabe cómo hacer algo. But not yet, but you can learn, yes? For example, it says, I can speak three languages. I can use a spreadsheet, but I learn fast. I can direct the small projects. I can use this program, but I'm a fast learner. All right, so here we have an exercise. Think about it. Eso lo vamos a revisar mañana. So, vamos a estudiar un poquito esta lesson. Vamos a dejar de homework. Porque ya es almost time. Y tenemos que pasar el attendance. Y asignar a alguien que se quede a la sección de one on one. O sea, veamos. Déjame de poder compartir. It's start to rain up here right now. So, give me. Yo soy present, please. All right. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present, teacher. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present. Elsie. Present. Fernand. Present, teacher. All right. Hazel. Hector. Oh my God, give me one second. I'm in here. All right, hold on. Qué pijazo de agua. Present. Sorry, it was raining too much and it's so noisy. So, Hector? Present. All right. Iliana? Irma? Irvin? I hear him. I hear him. Right. Irvin? Isabel? Present. Lucy? Present. Marta? Mayra? Present. Samuel? Present. Wendy. 
Oh my god. <laughs> and Jackie. All right. Present. Nos quedamos con Adriana. Adriana ha sido la primera en todo este día. <laughs> okay. All right. She's so lucky. Nice to meet you, everybody. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Adriana. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for staying. Ten more minutes. Thank you. <laughs> you are from? I came here too. Really? Oh my God, it's raining. You are in San Salvador. Yes. Yes, it's raining a lot here in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yes. Get the volume up. Pero me voy a detener el video para ponerme el teléfono más cerca. All right, no problem. Yes. Ok. All right, cuénteme. ¿Cuáles cuál son sus expectativas? If you want to do it in English or in Spanish, it's all right. Ok. I'm, I'm man, I am a manager mm -hmm. and I need to uh, practice conversations and in a specific uh, technical, uh, como vocabulario técnico. Yes, technical vocabulary. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I have conversation with and uh, providers mm -hmm. and uh, a few clients, but only in a technique area. Oh, wow, nice. That's uh, great. So you are a to, manager in what company? Uh, yo soy um, yo soy este um, gerente de tecnología en Merlet. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That's true. So you study English, communicative English before? Uh, yes, I study English a few times oh, nice. in a different uh, academies. Mm -hmm. I'm studying English at college, at university. So this is like the thousand times for you to yeah. study English. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, but you need to learn more technical vocabulary. Okay. Uh, yeah. And the, and the customers the, and the providers that you communicate with? I'm going to the United States and I have a conversation that me da una pizza, I want to buy this, how much it costs. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. But to have a conversation with con cosas técnicas ya de un proveedor o un cliente, dar un soporte, ya eso sí es un poco. Yes, it's different. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because of the vocabulary, we need yes. to learn, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So, what type of conversation do you have with the customers or the providers? Uh, the most of uh, technical support. Mm -hmm. And they are from? Uh, United States. Oh, from the United States. Uh -huh. The most of the our clients, is, it's on United States. In the United States, exactly. Mm -hmm. And what kind of support do they need? Um, when um, they can send an email uh -huh. or... Uh, uh, download the the sheet, something like that. Okay, something related to technology with computers. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. 
All right. To log to log in the system. Uh -huh. Something like that. Wow, how it's interesting. So you, technical support. So you are receiving calls, sending messages, receiving emails yes. all the time. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah. the and the career that you study is technology. Uh, system engineer. Uh -huh. I'm system engineer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe you. Yes. Oh wow. So you talk to the to the students at Merle or no? Uh, es muy poco. No. Yo sí le doy soporte al, al centro, pero siempre en el tema del In internet. In the same area, right? Que, que uh -huh. todas las computadoras estén bien o They la have conexión. Two computer lab. Ah, sí. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh -huh. I got you. The internet connections. Mm -hmm. uh, when they uh, slow connections. So you practically mm -hmm. manage all the area at the company. Yes. Mm -hmm. nice. yes. Wow. Ah, uh, uh, sí, manejo tanto la parte del del desarrollo del sistema como también la parte técnica. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's great. We have five people in the area. Area. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, that's nice. That's awesome. That's good to know. Okay. Thank you. That's nice. So welcome. I hope we can contribute to improving your vocabulary in the area. And if there are some uh, lessons that probably you need to practice a little bit more, don't worry, just ask the okay. question. Or you Thank can you. investigate, right, related, uh, mm -hmm. the vocabulary related to your area. Because, yes, we know this is English for work, but we don't okay. have the same work, right? No. We have all different jobs, so that's why it's kind of difficult to adapt to a specific job. The the the, the previous model mm -hmm. in five model we can see the manufacturing mm -hmm. and we can practice a lot of vocabulary relation with Related my job. All right, nice. With my job. That's cool. That's awesome. All right, nice. Okay, anything else? Okay. Only that. Okay, thank you. Good. You're welcome. Thank you for sharing. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, thank Have you. A good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.